The day-to-day -day and hour-to-hour -hour condition of the atmosphere is known as weather. The weather may be sunny in the morning and cloudy or rainy in the evening. Climate Climate is the average weather condition of a place for a long period of time. It is generally the average weather conditions taken over a period of 30 to 35 years. Elements of weather and climate Temperature, humidity, air pressure, rainfall, direction of wind, sunshine or cloudiness. Temperature The degree of hotness and coldness of the air is known as temperature. The temperature of a place varies between day and night and from season to season. The sun is the main source of heat and light on the earth. The distribution of temperature is influenced by insulation or the incoming solar energy intercepted by the Earth. The amount of insulation decreases from the equator towards the poles. Measurement of temperature To find out the maximum and minimum temperatures of a day, a special instrument called Six's maximum and minimum thermometer is used. Air pressure The pressure exerted by the weight of the air on the Earth's surface is known as atmospheric pressure. Air pressure is measured in units of millibars. The instrument that is used to measure the atmospheric pressure is known as barometer. It is used in forecasting the weather also. Factors influencing atmospheric pressure Atmospheric pressure varies from place to place and from season to season. The factors which influence atmospheric pressure are Altitude Air pressure is highest at sea level and it decreases with altitude. The upper layer of the atmosphere are less dense so they exert lesser pressure. Temperature with an increase in the temperature, the air expands and becomes lighter and thus exerts lesser pressure. On the other hand, cold air is heavier and so exerts greater pressure. Moisture Air laden with moisture is warmer and hence it is lighter and less dense than dry air. This moist air exerts Less pressure than dry air. Pressure belts. Horizontally, the distribution of atmospheric pressure is not the same all over the world. Different parts of the earth are heated unequally. Like the heat zones, we also have four major pressure belts around the Earth. The permanent pressure belts of the Earth are the equatorial low pressure belt, 5 degrees north to 5 degrees south, the subtropical high pressure belt, 30 degrees north to 35 degrees north and 30 degrees south to 35 degrees south, the subpolar low pressure belt, 60 degrees north to 65 degrees north and 
60 degrees south to 65 degrees south. The polar high pressure belt, 85 degrees north to 90 degrees north and 85 degrees south to 90 degrees south. This is a pattern of alternate high and low pressure belts over the earth. The Equatorial Low Pressure Belt This belt extends from 5 degrees north to 5 degrees south latitudes. The air at the equator gets heated. Warm air being lighter rises above, causing a low pressure to develop here. This belt is also called as doldrums because it is a zone of total calm without any surface wind blowing. Subtropical High Pressure Belts This belt extends from 30 degrees to 35 degree latitudes, both north and south of the equator. The air that rises in the equatorial region gets cool when it goes up and sinks down in this belt creating a high pressure zone. It is also called as the Horse Latitude. Subpolar low pressure belts. These belts are located between 60 degrees and 65 degrees in each hemisphere. In this zone, the warm winds blowing from the tropical region meet the extremely cold winds from the polar region. This creates a low pressure belt. This region is marked by violent storms in winter. Polar High Pressure Belts At the North and South Poles, between 85 degrees to 90 degrees North and South, the temperatures are always extremely low. The cold air sinks down and gives rise to high pressure over the poles throughout the year. These areas of polar high pressure are known as the polar highs. These regions are covered by permanent ice caps. Winds Moving air is called wind. The difference in pressure conditions on different parts of the earth make the air move. Air moves from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. A wind is named after the direction from which it blows. For example, the wind blowing from the west is called westerly. We can study the direction of the wind with an instrument called wind wane. The instrument that is used to measure the speed of the wind is called the anemometer. Type of wind Winds can be broadly divided into three types. Permanent winds. The winds that blow between the major pressure belts of the earth are called permanent winds because they blow in a particular direction constantly throughout the year. The three main permanent or planetary winds are the trade winds. Trade winds blow from the subtropical high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belt in both the hemispheres. They blow from the northeast direction in the northern hemisphere and from the southeast direction in the southern hemisphere. The Vestalis The Vestalis blow from the subtropical high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt in both hemispheres. The direction of these winds is southwest in the northern hemisphere and northwest in the southern hemisphere. The Polar Winds The winds that blow from the polar high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt in both the hemispheres are called the Polar Winds. They are extremely cold winds. They blow from the northwest direction in the northern hemisphere and from the southeast in the southern hemisphere. 
seasonal or periodic winds. These winds always blow at a certain time of the year or day, but they do not blow permanently like the prevailing or permanent winds. Monsoon winds in India are the best example of seasonal winds. Land and sea breezes are also periodic winds. Local winds These winds are unique features of a certain area and blow over only a small area, that too, only during a particular period of the day or year. For example, the Loo in northern plains of India. Variable winds the winds which prevail only for a short duration and are not regular are called variable winds, for example cyclones and anticyclones. Cyclone When a low pressure area is surrounded from all sides by a high pressure area winds from all directions blow towards the low pressure area in the center causing a cyclone. Strong spiral winds move in anti-clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere and a clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere, causing vast devastation and loss of life and property. Anticyclone When a high pressure area is surrounded by a low pressure area on all sides, gentle winds begin to blow out in a spiral motion from the center in all directions, resulting in anticyclones. Anticyclones bring clear skies and a fine, calm weather.